Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished speakers, colleagues and friends, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Dr. Sylvie Briand, Director of Global Infectious Hazard Preparedness Department at WHO. I'm pleased to welcome you to the third Global Infodemic Management Conference. You can access interpretation in the six UN languages, although we still have some issues with the French translation. Uh, I hope it will be sorted out uh, very soon. I'm honored to welcome first Dr. Jouad Majour, Assistant Director General, Emergency Preparedness, World Health Organization. Dr. Majour, you have the floor. Thank you, Sylvie. Thank you very much. Distinguished speakers, ladies and gentlemen, friends, colleagues, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the final plenary meeting of the third WHO Global Infodemic Management Conference. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken a great toll on health system and economies that has impacted each single life on this planet. Countries that have best responded and mitigated the public health and socioeconomic impact have been countries that mounted a whole of government and inclusive whole of society approach emphasizing unity, equity, and solidarity. This pandemic has given face to another menace that has impacted how people have reacted to end coped with the pandemic and pandemic control measures. I mean the infodemic. The information ecosystem in which we live, interact and present ourselves influence much of our health choice and actions. The way information rapidly spreads across borders, as well as ways we are connected to each other in local community and networks determine how we perceive information, share it, use it, give advice to each other, and ultimately how we behave to protect ourselves and promote our health and well-being. Infodemix in digital and offline information environments increasingly challenge achievement of societal goals for, purpose, for prosperous, sustainable, and equitable human development. Mitigating the impact and managing infodemics calls equally for our all, of, all of society approach. WSHU's first infodemic management meeting brought together 1,600 participants in April 2020 to establish a global framework with 50 key actions to tackle this new phenomenon. The second meeting in July 2020 convened 100 experts from 15 scientific disciplines to establish a public health research agenda with a priority list of research questions to direct academic research to find evidence-based intervention and measures to respond to an infodemic. The aim of this third conference is to bring together all part of society that must co-create a whole of society approach to managing infodemic and determine how each of them experience the problem and can bring solution to establishing an information ecosystem that promote health and well-being. The part of the society that must come together are health authorities, the scientific community, media and journalism community, technology company, companies, civil society and non-governmental organization, as well as UN and multilateral agencies. The goal of health supportive information ecosystem must be that individuals and population ex exercise their right of access to health information and receive information at the right time in the right format from a trusted source, as well as skilled and self-efficacy to make healthy choices 
to achieve and maintain their health and well-being. I want you to listen today to these societies. Thank you for your attention and back to you, Sylvie. Dr. Majour, many thanks for this opening address.